Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions and percents and we are looking specifically how we can change from one to the other and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So from fractions to percents is a two-step process. First you need to take your fraction and you need to change it into a decimal. So let's start with a simple fraction. So we'll start with 3 fifths. Now we've got two options when we're changing from a fraction to a decimal. First, look to see if you can change the denominator into a 10, 100, or 1,000. In this case, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and that will change our fraction into a denominator of 10, an equivalent fraction. And this helps because 6 tenths is the same as using place value 0 0.6 because this is the tenths place. Likewise, sometimes you can change your fraction into a denominator of 100 or 1,000, and you can use the hundredths and the thousandths place. In this case, 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths, so we've done step 1. We've changed from a fraction to a decimal. Now, we need from a decimal to a percent. And in this case, we're going to take our decimal 0 0.6 and decimal to percent. You simply move the decimal place once, twice to the right. Now, we have a blank spot there, so we put a 0 on the blank spot. We drop that right there, and so we have 60%. So we could say 3 fifths is equal to 60%. Let's look at another example from a fraction to a decimal. Sometimes it's not as easy as finding an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, 100, 1,000. So the second option is to simply divide up. You're going to take your denominator 15, and you're going to divide it into your numerator of 7. And so 15 goes into 7 zero times, which we would expect, but now we put a decimal, we can add a zero, and now we can begin the work. So this is simply long division. We're going to keep adding zeros after our decimal until we find a pattern or until we run out of options. And so that's going to be 90. And you see here, look at I've got a remainder of 10, and that's going to be 100. I just did that 100. So what that means is that's going to be another 6, and that 6 is going to go on forever. I can never stop because it's always going to be a remainder of 10, and it's going to be 0 0.4666666 forever. So really, we can write this as a decimal, as 0 0.46. Little bar means repeating. Now, step 2, how do we take that into a percent? Well, you take your 0 0.46 move it over once, twice. Now you might think it's 46%, but it's not simply 46%. Because really, remember, it's 0 0.46666, and it goes on forever. So if you move the decimal once, twice, you've got 46%, but then you have all of these sixes afterwards. So there's two ways to write that. 46.6 .6 repeating percent, or if you know your benchmark fractions, you know that 46 and two-thirds is the same because 0.6 repeating is the same as two-thirds. Now moving from a percent down to a fraction is also two steps, but it's a little bit simpler. So if we start with our percent, we need to go in reverse order. We need to move from a percent to a decimal. Remember when we went from decimal to percent, we moved the decimal twice to the right. Now this time we're going to move it twice to the left. If you don't see a decimal, you can always put one after the ones place. And you can move it once, twice, drop your percentage sign. So it's 0 0.18, go and put that zero in the ones place to keep it fresh. And so now we have 18% is the same as 0 0.18. Now when we go from a decimal to a fraction, well, just read it the correct way, and you get 18 hundredths, because this is your hundredths place. And so what we could do is we can just write this as 18 over 100. Now sometimes this will be enough, but remember in the sixth grade, whenever we're looking at fractions, Sometimes we need to simplify or reduce. These are both even numbers, so let's reduce uh, by 2 over 2. Remember, we're reducing by 2 over 2 because that equals 1. And whenever you multiply or divide by 1, you don't change it. You just make it look different. So it's going to equal 9 fiftieths. Now it's time for you to try. Take 18 fiftieths and change it into a percent. Take 75% and change it into a fraction. When you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. 18 fiftieths can be changed into the equivalent fraction of 36 hundredths, which makes 36%. 75% is the same as 75 over 100, which reduces to 3 fourths or 3 quarters.